welcome back to Cooking with Alethea. Today is Wednesday and I'm going to be making, um, spring is right, it's just about here, it's like in a few days. So I want to be making some um, like appetizers you can use for like the upcoming Easter, your Easter meal. And I'm going to make uh, like a string bean, my string bean creation with shrimp and other good stuff I'm going to be showing you. So right now, I'm going to, right now we're preparing for our first dish, which is going to be uh, two different types of egg rolls. That's part of our appetizers. One egg roll is going to have um, sauteed cabbage. I cut about a half a head, a small head of cabbage, thinly sliced. We put it in the pan with some oil. We're sauteing that. We're going to make that, like you know, done. Watch your hand. This is my sous chef. This is my grandson, our, our youngest, Zion. Say hi, Zion. Hi. <laughs> and um, so he's my sous chef for today for a little bit. And we have in here also some um, onions chopped up. And I went ahead and I put some, you know, my staple ingredients, which is my staple seasonings, my adobo, a little crushed pepper, and some garlic powder in this here mixture. Over here, this is going to be the egg roll for uh, cheese steak egg rolls. Okay, that's a Philadelphia thing. Cheese steak egg rolls. We have our um, ground beef in here, steak, and we have our um, the seasoning, which is a little bit of crushed pepper, adobo, and garlic powder, and we have some chopped onion in here. We're sauteing that too. That's going to be we're going to let this uh, cook and let this get done. When this is finished cooking, I'm going to show you guys how I prepare um, with the eggshell, not eggshell, with the um, the wrapper for the um, egg roll, egg roll wrappers, okay? Let me show you the rest of the ingredients real quick um, before we go ahead. We have our shrimp here, one bag of shrimp, and my hands are clean. This is like tiger shrimp. This is like very jumbo shrimp, okay? I got this from Trader Joe's. It's very delicious. I seasoned this, so this has been marinating for a couple of hours with my stapling seasonings, which are uh, the adobo crushed pepper, a little oil, garlic powder, parsley, and oregano in here. Okay, so this is the shrimp, and I just washed my hands after I touched the piece of shrimp here. Okay, you got to have clean hands. It's very important. And the rest of our ingredients are, um, okay, this is for the string bean medley that I'm going to be making a little later after the egg rolls. So we have the shrimp for the, the string bean medley. We have our um, butternut squash cut up. We have a chopped onion, we have green onion chopped up, we have some mushrooms chopped up, and for a surprise, we have a little bit of shredded lemon zest. Hey, it's very, very, very delicious over your green beans. Now the carrots here are shredded. I'm going to put this in with the, I forgot to add this in, with the, uh, can mix that up for me with our egg rolls okay that's going to be with the um, the first egg roll that I mentioned which is the cabbage egg roll or vegetable egg roll we have our egg roll wrappers here you can get this at any store vegan okay we have our oil that we're going to brush over our egg rolls we're not going to be frying them in oil we're going to be frying them in our air fryer uh, we have our almonds, sliced almonds, which is going to be at the end. It's going to go over our green beans. We have our Trader Joe's. This is so delicious. Trader Joe's French's green beans. They are very fresh. They're frozen, but they're very fresh. It's very delicious. We have our two types of cheeses um, that's going into the egg roll, the cheesesteak egg roll. It's a lot of ingredients here. Look like a lot's going on. Also, for appetizers, besides the egg rolls, I'm going to be making poppers, jalapeno poppers, okay? I went ahead and, and uh, cleaned these and sliced them in half and scooped out the seeds. It's very important that you scoop out your seeds, and you're going to make like a little well in them. I put them in my pan. I made a mixture of an eight ounce of cream cheese and about a handful of or a half a cup of uh, shredded cheddar cheese and a little bit of mozzarella in here. I also put some parsley 
in here and oregano and some garlic powder in here too. And two shakes of red pepper. So hey, it's a lot going on. Now, after all that, I forgot the one ingredient for these poppers. We're going to wrap these in bacon slices at the end. So I'm going to show you that before we put them in the oven. So it's a lot going on, like I said. Yes, you can. Let me see. Let me get this here going over here. He's really helpful today. I guess that's why we have the rain out there, right? It's a little cloudy day. All right, so we got that going. Now he wants to help with this here. Go ahead. You can mix that up a little bit, okay? This is done just about, but go ahead. You can mix that up. Zion likes to help. Whenever Zion comes over, his mother is very surprised. <laughs> Because he likes to help Nana, right, Zion? He really likes to help me. So this is my little helper in the kitchen. So this is done. We're going to turn this off. There we go. All right, and let's... Very good, Zion. Now, you know what we're going to add on here? I guess we're going to put the cheese in when we put them into the um, wrappers. We'll be back in a few minutes to show you the assembly of this here appetizer one. Okay, now we're back. We're going to assemble. I'm going to show you how I assemble the egg rolls. So I'm going to start with the vegetable one first. You take some water and you're going to dab the sides all around the edges. You're going to help me, Zion? See how I do this? The next one I do, you can do this on the edges. All right? Take your hands, your fingers. Wash his hands. Okay, go wash your hands. Okay? So we did that all around the edges with the water. And then we're going to take our filling, our vegetable filling, which is the cabbage and the carrots and onions. I'm going to put in here, place in the, like a diamond shape. All right. Maybe one more scoop. One more scoop here. I guess that's good. Is that good? I'm going to make it like a package, okay? They're going to fold together. This is going to be a little one. <laughs> I'm going to bring that over. And it's a specially made package just for you. See how we fold that over? And then you're going to fold it over like a burrito. All right. And there we have that. That's our egg roll. Now, let me. I'm going to have Zion do the next one. So, okay. Dip your fingers in there and you go around the edges. There you go. All the way down. Dip the fingers in there again. Very good. All the way over here. All right. Dip your fingers in there again. You're going to go up here. Very good. Dip your fingers in there again. You're going to cross over. Over up the top. There we go. Good job. All right. Now we're going to do the cheesesteak one. All right. This is our cheesesteak mixture. Steak, onions. A little bit of uh, red pepper, and I guess that's about enough, is it? A little bit more? A little bit more, like on the corners side. or something. Mm -hmm. Right here, is that good? Mm -hmm. And then a little bit on the other on side. On the other side, there we go. Got all kind of people helping me today because I need a lot of help. Okay, so now we're going to put cheese on it. You want to put some cheese on here, Zion? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here, just grab some cheddar cheese in there and just sprinkle it on top. And then you can get some mozzarella. You want to do the mozzarella? Sprinkle some mozzarella on top of that. We like cheese here in this house. There we go. Let Nana help you. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to fold it over like a burrito. Isn't that neat, Zion? We're going to glue it up here on the sides. Because this is going into the air fryer. So I know my other sous chef is going to fix that up somewhat. There we go. I know she's going to fix it up. It's okay. You can fix it up. <laughs> now I just want to make the last one here. We have two, four... I think we can do two more.
Okay, now we are, we're going to put this in the air fryer um, on about, what is it, 350 for about six minutes, and then we're going to turn it over and do another six minutes, right? Is that right? Now, while I straighten up here, we're getting ready to go to our next adventure, which is our jalapeno poppers. So this is the jalapeno peppers that I was showing you guys. We split them in half. We rinsed them off, split them in half, scooped out the seeds. It's very important or else you're going to have hot, hot mouths. And um, I made a mixture of eight ounce cream cheese, a handful of cheddar and mozzarella. My seasonings, oregano, garlic, and a dash of the red pepper flakes. All right, I mixed that all together, mixed it well, and I put parsley flakes in here too. You're going to take this little scoop of it. Now you're going to have to use your hands, your fingers for this so that you can, um, you know, spread it out. Spread it all around. This is going to go into a 425 degree oven for about 20-25 minutes. Keep an eye on it. The finishing part to this will be, I'll show you in a second. After I do this one, I'm going to show you how we're going to do the finishing part to this appetizer. All right. This is kind of messy because you're using your fingers. So if you don't like being messy, then use gloves. Yeah. <laughs> the bacon is bigger than the, the jalapeno itself. Anywho, so we are going to wrap this around. For all you meat lovers out there, you're going to like this. This is applewood smoked bacon, so this is what I'm using. This is for all you meat lovers, okay? <laughs> I don't eat meat personally too much, um, so. But I will be trying this today. All righty, there we go. We'll be back, and I'm going to show you. Um, you're going to see the finished product of this, but before I put this in the oven, I'm going to start my string beans. So we'll be right back. Okay, so this is how it looks before we put it in the oven. Okay, that's another appetizer, a jalapeno poppers. And then with the rest of the mixture here, because you will have leftover mixture, you can take it and put it in some, on some celery. Or you can scoop out uh, English cucumber, scoop out the middle, and just, you know, put it in there. And the English cucumber is nothing but a, a cucumber that has no seeds. So it's perfect for stuff like this. You can just top it off like that. And that's another appetizer. Nice and springy. Okay. And while we're doing this... Our oven is all ready for the poppers to go in. We're going to do that right now. I'll come back and finish that up. But um, we're going to put this in the oven, our poppers. 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. You can eyeball it. And we're going to go ahead and start with our green bean, uh, the string bean creation that I'm going to make. I put a little margarine in the pan, mixed with a little bit of canola oil. Let that melt somewhat. I'm going to put our cut up butternut squash. Okay, as much as you want in there. All right. The butternut squash is going to take a little bit longer to cook because it's in cubes. So, and you want that soft texture to this. So while that is um, sauteing, get ready to saute it. I'm going to add my seasoning, just a little bit in here of adobo, or you can use sea salt, whatever you prefer. A little bit of crushed red pepper. That's a little in my eyes. We have our garlic powder. I'm going to add a little bit of more garlic powder to this here because I'm going to be adding the rest of the, the vegetables in here. Some parsley. I love my parsley. 
We'll be adding more to that too. And oregano. Give it a little kick here. All right? Like I always say, don't be afraid to experiment with your vegetables. Okay, so we have this going. And um, I'm going to add, I'm going to just go ahead and add my, let's see. We're going to add our string, not our string beans, I'm sorry. I'm going to put the string beans in here too. I'm looking at the string beans and picking up the mushrooms. We're going to put the mushrooms in here. Our string beans. Thank you. All right. We're going to let this saute somewhat, uh, maybe five minutes or so. And I'm going to add the um, shrimp in here, our marinated shrimp because that has to cook with this too. It has to all incorporate together. So with the string beans, you can add as little or as much as you like. If you want broccoli in here, you can put that in here instead of the string beans if you don't like string beans. But this is all very good for you. I love string beans. So, let me see, I need a spatula here. Okay, we're going to mix this all together. We're going to let it, let it do its do. You hear its little sizzle there? We want a roaring sizzle <laughs> so it can, this can cook down. And um, so, look, you have all the colors of spring in here just about. You can get orange, greens, your cream colors. I'm going to add some onions in here. Just a little bit. Or as much to your liking. Okay. I am going to add some green onions, like I said, all right, on top here. Green onions is very good. Okay, might as well add it all. We are home, who cares? And I have some lemon zest, like I said. And with the lemon zest, zest of a lemon, okay, the lemon skin, you're going to just, you know, sprinkle it on top like a chef. That's what we are. We're creative. <laughs> All right. And like I said, some people might be like, ew, lemon zest on top of string beans. But believe me, this will, will wake up your string beans and it gives it a, like a whole different taste. It's very good. It tastes like springtime, summertime, all in this pot. It's very good. Very, very good. Now, uh, while this is cooking down, I'm going to come back and I'm going to add my shrimp in here and then I'm going to, you know, keep mixing it up and let it cook until um, the string beans and um, especially the um, your other vegetables are tender. So we'll be back with the final presentation of everything. Okay, we're back with our final presentation of our, I'm going to call it our midweek appetizer Wednesday. And look guys, I just want to say this before I show you everything. Um, seriously, this is like a winner. This is very good. I tried the a little bit of the um, egg roll and it was very, very, very good. And my daughter tried the uh, jalapeno popper. She said it's a winner. So, um, and also the, the cucumber, stuffed cucumbers are a winner too. But um, this will be very good for your like Easter appetizers here. You know, your jalapeno poppers and your stuffed um, cucumbers and also your egg rolls. So, you know, consider making some of this for your Easter celebration this year. So this is the final presentation of everything. Everything is very good. This is a yummy midweek <laughs> meal. And um, I think you guys will like this too. Um, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel, Cooking with Alethea. I will be back with, next time to show you some more yummy treats and whatever we make. So uh, have a good, blessed week, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.